You move so close to me, baby. It don't feel that close enough. All of this distance, these maybes. All I'm saying is that's tough. That's tough. Could have kept close, kept you floating underneath that breeze behind. Someone's bedroom Thinking about where I grew up I've been making songs For one fine day day It's too bad our time is gone
Well, I first arrived at Concordia because I saw that it had a music program and I was really interested in music at the time and the only thing that I wanted to study at in college was music. This is an sell ad yourself. from Six Photography <laughs> ad. This is not a sell yourself video, okay, sir? My plan wasn't to actually go to college. I wasn't going to go to college. I decided to go to college last minute, kind of, so that kind of, you know, messed up my um, applications that I was supposed to send out. But it actually worked out for me because I came from a small uh, high school of only like 200 students. So I chose Concordia out of the colleges that I got accepted to because when I came here to visit for orientation it was small and it was what I was used to. I didn't want to go to a you know big university where I'm just a number. That's the risk that he takes though when he pushes his little sister came here before me. She spent a year here while I was still at home in Philadelphia. And after she spent a while here, my parents just decided that it would be best if we go to school together up here. My camera. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, Iris, no. No. In the high school, uh, I'm already come America to study. And uh, I applied the three university, But I chose the Concordia <laughs> in the end. Uh, because my teacher to told me the Concordia is near, uh, is close to Manhattan. <laughs> I think that it's a good place. I want to make my own shows. Like I'm really good at illustration, and I also want to be a photographer. Yeah, really just dive into the new media aspect once I get out. I want to uh, have an um, own studio, the photography studio. When I first started at Concordia, I wasn't sure what my dreams would be. Um, after my first year, I just started to become a music major. Um, and after, in the, I guess in the middle of that, that second year, after the second semester of that second year, um, I found new media because I found that music wasn't really working for me. And I started new media and then specifically photography. And after the past what one and a half, two years? Um, I think right now my dreams would to become a professional photographer. Hopefully, start to take music more seriously. Um, right now, I'm working on my EP, but hopefully, um, when I get out of college, I'll be able to make a full album um, by myself. I'm really going to miss the close connections that everyone has here because the campus is so small. Um, you know, the teachers are more one-on-one -on -one with each student and you basically, you know everyone's name and it's, it's like a little community as if you were going to like a bigger university where there's a whole bunch of different people, everyone, you don't know everyone every time you go outside you see someone new and I think the, the thing I'm going to miss the most is to be in such a, um, you know, community kind of school where like you go out and you just you know everyone which is a, a good feeling you don't feel like an outsider or like you feel like connected to everyone my time at concordia was filled with a lot of adventurous times um but i'd say the most the thing that i would most miss about concordia is the people um the friends that i've made and the bonds that i've created through this school when I study in Concordia, uh, this time is very happy. And uh, <clears throat> this college not not too big, but uh, everything in here. And uh, the professor and uh, all students, <clears throat> both very nice. Learned how to take photo and uh, how to shoot video and uh, make film and uh, documentary. Um, I, really, I really learned how to use a camera, definitely. Like, the new media courses really like make you dive into the field and it's really helpful. So everything with working a camera, directing, editing, uh, yeah, that's what I've learned here. Well, ever since I first came to Concordia, I've been living on campus, so um, I only usually go home on the weekends, and in the past two years, I'm a senior now, by the way. 
and in the past two years I haven't been going home as much so I guess in that time I learned how to be responsible for myself being that I'm living on my own um, I have like four jobs so I'm making my own money I'm doing my own groceries so I guess the, the biggest thing that I've learned in at being at Concordia is to be responsible for myself and getting ready for when I do um, graduate and I do look for a full-time job and getting my own apartment and things like that. I learned about actually my love for composing shots and photos and photography and I learned my strong suit was in editing and that I was I had more talents outside of music. Don't be forced to do everything. If there's a certain course that you want to take or don't want to take, or if you think that you would be better suited over there, don't force yourself into a place where you know you won't strive. So go after what you want to do while you're here, because at the end of it, it'll really come through for you. Here at Concordia, you should probably focus on doing what it is that you love and your passion so that on the side while you're doing your schoolwork and everything, you're still trying to get um, to the goals that you want to achieve in life. Going for the eternal flame I'ma do whatever it takes